We've all been in internet arguments before, and we've known that the other person talking to us was stupid, and we were willing to prove it. And this man on Reddit has really gone the distance by electrocuting his own balls to prove a point. Yep. There are so many things wrong I'm here. I'm a woman, I don't mind talking about this. I, there are so many things <laughs> wrong with this story. Uh, first of all, the old adage, it's what uh, Mark Twain used to say, never argue, arguing with an idiot or arguing on the web, I'll paraphrase, sure. is like wrestling with a pig. You both get filthy and the pig likes it anyway. So don't argue with people on the web. However, arguing about how much it's gonna take to electrocute your balls, sure, that's an argument you can have, but if you're gonna try and win the bet by electrocuting them, Really, your own? Well, your own? actually, we're gonna go forward and see how this story plays out. So this all happened in the subreddit WTF because of course it did. They saw a photograph in there and these were commenters commenting below it. And the photograph was, it looked like to be a homemade electric chair, kind of torture chamber in a broken down old building. And the photographer said he found some old car batteries nearby, which led him to believe the chair was used as a torture device. Someone was being shocked by the car battery one responder, Reddit user Anon72C, oh, that which guy. sounds like a throwaway account, pointed out that the car batteries don't have enough voltage to harm human beings and that the idea is pure fantasy, pure movie magic. Uh, so someone else named Admiral, <laughs> Admiral and then this face, awesome, uh, took issue, it's an emoji, with the non-72C's answer and said, oh yeah, well, why don't you connect a car battery to your nipples or genitals for over a minute, insinuating that he is wrong, and that would be a very painful experience, To at which point a non-72C decided to literally uh, nut up instead of shutting up and said, I am so sick and tired of armchair experts and BSing naysayers. Fine. And then he posted a very not safe for work picture that we are not going to show of his own scrotum wet and attached to the car battery. Um, yeah, right, he, <laughs> look, you can look it up if you want to. I'm just choosing not to show it. So he took a lab power supply and set it to 13.8 volts, which is the same voltage a car battery would expend when attached to a running engine. Then he tuned the current to the max output of 10 amps. Then he clipped it to his body and he said it felt, quote, like a mild, almost pleasant tingling sensation. He said it didn't hurt him. He was fine. He did have to post a picture of his scrotum on the internet, but he won the argument. A, I don't believe he was fine. <laughs> uh, video or it he didn't happen. He said it was almost um, pleasant. Uh, I would be, not that I want to see this video, um, but that would be the more definitive proof because the video obviously would be the pilot episode of the show we saw in Idiocracy, Ow My Balls. Well, he but, didn't say ow, he said it was almost pleasant. I. Um, I <laughs> Listen, you I can can't save people from themselves. I can understand your reaction, which is a reaction most men would have, right? I feel nothing. I'm a woman. Um, so it does seem like he is correct, though. Um, most sources are saying that even if you gripped both the terminals of the car battery during a rainstorm, you'd feel a tingle, but it wouldn't be enough to electrocute you or. or I don't know, see there's all these movies like the one of the scenes in Lethal Weapon where Mel Gibson's getting tortured with the car battery. Like you see people Maybe get tortured with that acting. in movies all the time. Have you considered that? Kim, are you telling me <laughs> that movies are not accurately, accurately reflecting what happens in physics? I'm not saying do this to yourself, but I am saying this guy did do it to himself and he seemed fine and most of uh, the car community seems to think it would also be fine. I'm a little worried about the car community now. Well, you know, Just saying. if they want to have a mild, tingling, almost pleasant experience, they know what to do. Okay. All right. Maybe we need to reach out to the legendary Chuck Tingle and get his reaction to this. Pounded it in the butt by my own idea that a t car battery could be a powerful movie sensation, but actually was quite, quote, mild and almost pleasant tingling. Yeah. I like Chuck Tingle. I think you should write it. You made it to the end of a video. That's great. Wow. Ferris Bueller was kind of a jerk because I personally love that you did this. Hit subscribe for more fun and no bathrobe lectures.